You're watching Vinyl for Miles, your best resource for music and vinyl reviews. I'm Michael, and today we're going to be looking at the Vinyl Vac system. This will be a two part video. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a vinyl cleaning station for under $30. Stay tuned. secret in the vinyl and audiophile community that the best way to clean a record is with a wet clean with a vacuum system. The only problem is most of these vacuum systems range from $300 to over $1,000. Most vinyl enthusiasts and collectors don't want to spend that kind of cash on a cleaning system when they can reinvest it into a better audio system or more records. So I came across this company Vinyl Vac through a search online trying to find a cheaper vacuum system that can attach to an existing shop vac without having to drop that kind of cash to clean your records. Ron over at Vinyl Vac sent me the cleaning kit here. He also sent me instructions on how to create a vinyl cleaning station that pairs perfectly with the Vinyl Vac. Now all of this can be done for under $100. It could be done even cheaper if you're more resourceful. So today we're gonna look at how to create a vinyl cleaning system with a 12 inch Lazy Susan and some parts you could pick up from Lowe's or Home Depot in your hometown. All right, hope you enjoy and stick around. I'm gonna be releasing part two later this week on how to actually clean the records with the vinyl vac system in my review of it. All right, we're in my dining room now. We're gonna create the record cleaning station. It's a little bit of a mess now, but this is all the stuff I'm gonna use to make my record cleaning station. This can be paired with the vinyl vac, or you can use it just to clean your records if you don't wanna clean it on the turntable, or if you want a system where you can spin the record while cleaning it. Okay, now that we cleaned up a little bit, we're gonna focus just on the cleaning station in this video. So. Here's what you're gonna need, Lazy Susan, a slip mat or some kind of padding to use instead of the slip mat. I'm gonna use some Gorilla Tape to help keep it in place. You'll need a hot glue gun and some glue. You'll need a screw. And I'm gonna create my system using the label saver. It'll be a modular system where I can use the label saver in the sink or I can just stick it here to protect my label on this cleaning station. Or you can use what Ron from Vinyl Vac recommends and it's a flush plug. It's only two or three dollars at Home Depot. I'll link it below. Um, but in this video, we're gonna use the label saver. Okay, so let's start building the system. So step one is when you get this from Amazon, it might not be completely flat in the middle. So what I did was I took some sandpaper. I did a few of these circular motions to bring that centerpiece, which is just plastic mold, so sometimes the plastic sticks up. I just smoothed it out and made sure it's completely flat for the screw to sit right on like that. So you wanna have a complete flat center surface for the screw, which will act as the spindle. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your glue gun is nice and hot, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the screw is sticking straight up. So let's go ahead and start. And then once you have it flat, give it a little bit of a twist and you should be good. The next step I'm gonna do to reinforce this is take a small piece of Gorilla Tape, which is some of the toughest tape you can get, and I fold it in half, cut a hole in it, flip it the other way, just put a small hole. So you should have like a cross formation and I'm just gonna stick that over the screw and firmly push down on it to help further support the screw to stay in place. So you can use a slip mat and put the slip mat directly down. The only downside is there's a little bit of give here. It's not completely flat. So what I'm gonna do is cut out a 12 inch circle out of this non-slip mat you can get from Home Depot. So now that we have the non-slip mat here, I'm gonna take either a record or a slip mat if you have an extra one or you can cut out a cardboard circle 12 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and draw around my slip mat for my template. I'm gonna remove the slip mat, and there's our template we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a square around this to make it easier. All right, now I'm gonna actually cut the full circle out. All right, now that's ready to go. We can see it fits around the Lazy Susan and you can just push straight in the center and it should go right over that screw. And now that we have the padding down, I'm going to put my slip mat on there and you can pick up a slip mat for 10 bucks or less online. And if we take a record 
put it over the center. We can see, this is an older record, don't get triggered because I'm touching it. We can see that it fits on there good and it spins just like we want it to, all right? So the next step, I'm just gonna show you and link to a clip below on how you can do this with a flush plug. I'm gonna use this system, the label saver. I already did a review on this. And the label saver, what I did was I picked up screws that actually fit the label saver and their metric, they're gonna be 1.00 by 20. And what you can do is unscrew the label saver, take off the top piece, you stick it right over the record, like so, and you cinch down the top screw. It fits like a charm, and once that's in place, you're good to go. Then take the flush plug, line it up, and screw it down firmly. Give one extra turn to the flush plug to make sure it's created a good seal. All right, so we're all assembled, that's it. It took, what, 15 minutes to put this whole thing together? Uh, it's now ready to go. This pairs perfectly with your vinyl vac system. I'm gonna do a part two video of this on how to do a full clean, a full wet clean using the vinyl vac. But even if you don't have a vinyl vac system, you can use this, you know, to get your record wet. And you can go through now and spin it and give it a spin clean. Really, really cool. Again, I can't take credit for coming up with this design. This is Ron from the Vinyl Vac company. He sent me instructions on how to create this. I just modified it a little bit to use a label saver instead of a flush plug. But now you guys know, give it a try. It costs less than $30 to make this. Even if you don't have a Vinyl Vac system, this is a great way for you to clean your records without having to use your turntable. So, hope you enjoyed. Stick around for part two where I do a full review and a full instructional video on how to use the Vinyl Vac system. Thanks.